Hello every monster, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am so super excited and I know it's been quite a while since these dolls have been released but I finally have all four of them and I wanted to wait till I had all of them so that I could do a really big video and just kind of review all of them together as a complete set. So I would recommend running to Amazon right now because each of these ghouls are on sale. So I think Claudine was 20. Um, Laguna, I'm pretty sure I got her for $19.99. <clears throat> and then Dracula is also on sale and so is Cleo. Um, but right now they're all on sale. They used to be $29.99 and I kind of waited out because I know it sounds super silly, but just saving $10 on each doll is a huge difference to me. So I am super excited to finally have them all and do a huge review now that the squad is all together. And after this, I think once they're all unboxed and I have fun with displaying them and doing this video, I'm going to do a collection video because one of you had recommended that I do a collection video and I'm super excited to do that for my G3 dolls because I actually have quite a few now. Peep Nightmare in the background. Um, but yeah, here's what they look like all in the box. I think they look super good together. I kind of have them in like a half circle all around. And then of course the boxes are all the same. It has all the same artwork. They've got a little, uh, it looks like a Polaroid picture. And then it's just each disco ball says a different name for each of them. So yeah, I'm going to flip one of them to the back. So we'll do Miss Claudine's box. And I'm super excited to see her because she reminds me of the um, Sweet 1600 Claudine with the suit jacket. It's just so phenomenal. I love it so much. And then... Draculaura also reminds me of Sweet 1600 just because of her hairstyle and I love that they did it again because I'm obsessed with her Sweet, sweet 1600 doll. And then the Laguna and the Mermaid dress really reminds me of a mix of like Haunt Couture and the fancy Laguna. So it's just super cool to see kind of how these characters all intertwine, intertwine with um, G1. But it just says monster ball and it's got a little disco ball that's in the shape of a skelet and then Miss Claudine in front and this is what the artwork looks like for the other ghouls. Each box is the same it's just depending on whose box it is the main character's blown up in front and then over here it's just got a little bit about the doll and it's super cute. So it just talks about their accessories, their snack, and then their prop that they got for the dance. So yeah, I think I'm going to unbox all of these lovely dolls and then I will come back in a second and show you what they all look like with all of their accessories. And they're free of their boxes. So here's what they look like all out of their boxes and free. Please don't mind my Stitched in Style Frankie and my Vampire Heart Dracula. They're just chilling back there. Um, I kind of used them to lean the dolls up against because I couldn't get some of them to stand on their own. So here's Claudine, and so she's got this cute little mini bun on top, and of course her baby hairs. She's got the crescent moon on one side, and then she's got some purple earrings on the other. Going down, she's got a little bow tie, and then a cheetah print shirt, and then of course her purple suit, and then her bag is super cute. It's got a crescent moon and some spikes. And then on the side, it's got all these crescent moons, which is super adorable. I love that she's a fashion icon again. And then her shoes are also killer. They've got a crescent moon on the sides and in the front, and then they've got spikes down the side. And then each of these dolls has tinsel in their hair, which I'm actually a fan of tinsel. So once I style it, it's gonna look super cute because it's just a hot mess right now. And then she came with these little donuts. So it looks like a little gravestone and it's got donuts on it. And then it has a plate with a donut on it. And I actually really love the fact that they painted on all these details on these donuts because they're crescent moons. And then she came with a little makeup palette. And then these super cute balloons. It reminds me of the Valentine's Day pack with Deuce and Cleo. And then over here we have Miss Laguna. I kind of actually really love what they did with her makeup with the pink and the purple. And then she's got this really big flower and then of course her earrings which one of them's kind of stuck in the flower right now but you can see it on this side and then her necklace is a little octopus that's wrapped around her neck and then she's got this like tooling in the front 
and then as well as at the bottom. I feel like she's kind of missing something in between. Kind of like how the Dawn of the Dance um, Laguna had a fishnet in between. I feel like she's kind of missing something like that. She has this blue shell purse and then also some blue pearls as a bracelet. And then going down, her shoes just match everything else. They're hot pink with these big purple flowers. Laguna came with this like super goopy drink punch bowl kind of thing. And then two super cute cups to put it in. And then she also came with this little squid beard for the photos and then a little lip gloss. Here is Miss Cleo Denial, and honestly, y'all know Draculaura is my ghoul. She's my favorite, but I think Cleo's my favorite in this line. I love everything about her. I just wish that she had the bangs like she did in the promo pictures. <clears throat> but I love her hair. She's got this little, like, updo with this golden clasp. And then she's got these beautiful pyramid earrings and then this snake bracelet that's in gold. I'm obsessed. She has this really big golden um, ring on her finger, as well as this beautiful purse. Everything about her is just so perfect. I love her necklace. It's got three different colored stones. Everything that um, she wears is also really intricate. Like, all the details are painted, which is different from the other dolls, because her belt's even painted. And then she's got a dress underneath this little black part, so it's kind of like, like a, an overskirt. And then her shoes are super cute. They've got blue straps on them. And then, let's see if I can show you the side. The sides are little snakes. They're super, super cute. I'm obsessed with that. That is like the G1 quality uh, shoes that we were all used to with these awesome intricate molds. And then over here we have Miss Draculaura. Oh, I should probably go over Cleo's accessories. She's got this little cupcake tray and it does spin. And then some tongs to eat it with. She comes with the makeup palette as well. And then she comes with a scepter and a crown, which is super cool and all the details are painted. Now we will move on to Miss Draculaura. She has her little updo, kind of like the Sweet 1600. She's got this really big plastic glittery black bow. She, on one side she's got this kind of see-through pink pearl bracelet. And then on the other side, she's got this black rose. And then her earrings are these cute, um, it looks like strawberries to me, kind of like how she brought chocolate covered strawberries to the party. But I know they're supposed to be little um, hearts, kind of to match her purse. And then she's got a little black necklace that matches her bow. And her dress, it looks really nice. It reminds me of the Sweet 1600, but at the same time, it also reminds me of the Welcome to Monster High G2 um, like dance party Dracula and the quality of the fabric is like the exact same. So it's not, it's not that G1 quality, it's that G2 quality. And then she's got these beautiful pink tights and then these pink shoes with black hearts. I think the only thing that I would change with Dracula is that I really wish her blacks or her um, tights were black, black tights, because I like the pink. It looks okay, but I think it's a little bit much. And then in the back behind all of her long hair is just this really big bow. So that is Miss Draculaura. I do like her bangs. I do like the fact that they're curled. And she came with a chocolate fountain with a little skelet on top. It's super cute. And then a tray of chocolate covered strawberries. And then this really big bouquet of black roses with a bow on it. And the bow can come off as well. And then she also came with lipstick as her extra accessory, and I'm kind of disappointed that it is the exact same mold as Laguna's, just with a heart on top, on top instead of a skelet. But I did go ahead and take off the top so you could see that they do open, which I think is pretty cool. And then up in front is just the Polaroids. So this one's the one that came with Claudine. I'll just let you get a good look at that. Here's the one that came with Cleo. And here's the one that came with Draculaura. I do not know where the one that came with Laguna is. I'll have to rewind the footage because I'm not even sure that she came with one now that I think about it. Because I opened her up on my table and I literally cannot find it. So maybe it went under the bed. But um, hopefully I can find it somewhere. Hopefully she came with one. I just don't even remember at this point. 
But let me know what you guys think. Um, overall, I think the series is really great. I love this line. Um, I don't think I would have paid full price for any of them, but getting them at around $20 each, I think I was pretty happy with what I got. So just let me know what you think if you have them or if you're thinking about getting them. Okay, see you next time. Bye!